Let's take a break here on Arise. This is time for the press preview, a fresh look at what's on the front pages of the papers. Um, like we do, we start with our own sister publication, This Day. All right, This Day has as, as, it, as its headline, Adamu, Christians have nothing to fear. Muslim Muslim ticket reflects Nigeria's reality. It says, it's an act of God. Faith aside, work stops on the president's table. This is for coming from the governor of Ondo State, Akedalu. Uh, APC's presidential combination stands rejected. This is coming from the PF, sorry, <laughs> PFN, uh, PFN. All right, Atiku Okowa, PDP governors, Storm Oshobo today for Adeleke. Find that on page 50. All right, and you see that picture of the president testing census readiness with Matsuri, uh, the governor of uh, Katsina State. And Katluje replies, Lawal, uh, former SGF, says, no compulsion in religion. Um, with some other riders, Masari declares security on the Buhari has improved. Emir of Laura uh, to president, your critics will also criticize your successor. I am bequeathing education values to my kids, Commander-in-Chief explains. And then you look at the top mast, Moorman advocates gradual removal of petrol subsidy uh, to minimize resultant shock. He has a right. Insist policy not sustainable killing businesses. UN, uh, UK, uh, UN says Nigeria not on track to attaining sustainable development goals you can get that on page five the punch newspaper is leading with muslim muslim ticket decision on shatima final that's according to team Boo's men they say those who are not pleased can vote for ubi or atiku okay ocean pole or yet tola a delicate other sign peace pact and a more technical arrest 120 dodgers question on our massacre uh, this here says inflation debt pushing nigeria others to brink that's according to the imf all right let's look at the nation newspaper governors mostly muslim ticket not against christians uh, occurred to look and masari dismiss fears as unfounded adamu nothing uh, to worry about 165 petrol pump price no longer realistic this is what marketers are saying you fix lecturers wages unilaterally got mentals as proposal will cost government 1.2 trillion no agreement yet on the table that's coming from the minister of labor then on the top mast then go to only african on bloomberg stop 100 100 rich list 448 jostling for 28 governorship seats. Uh, okay, let's look at Oshu 2022. Oyetola, Adeleke, other signed peace accord. B2B campaigns for Lasso in Oshobo. Uh, Islamic group, ex students back Ogumbi. And the Guardian is leading with bottlenecks, worsen vehicles, clearance, and ease of business in Lagos. And 165 naira petrol pump price no longer realistic and that's according to major field marketers and uh, a muslim muslim ticket is work of god that's according to the apc chairman adamu all right let's look at uh, some foreign newspapers the times the times uh, search for more don't one of the ladies in the race for downing street number 10 in race to be Tory leader. And uh, the eye paper, Mouton Surge, rattles rivals in race for number 10. Oh well, uh, Daily Express. I'm just wondering why the papers are just talking about Mouton. Nobody's talking about the leader. It's hearting up. Mouton Surge's in race for number 10. And Financial Times says US inflation piles pressure unfed for big rate increase. The Guardian, treasure, pressure on trust as Tory rivals still march in leadership battle. Okay, just on that paper to rage, 
you see that marmot sea of heads it says rage and relief as president flees Sri Lanka well that's uh, those are the papers for now and uh, let's bring in Emmanuel Bello for the press preview uh, Emmanuel this day we're starting um, at Damu Christians have nothing to fear Muslim Muslim ticket reflects Nigeria's reality what reality is he talking about Emmanuel Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to yeah, you. Yeah, uh, well, this is the pushback by the APC. You know, it's uh, uh, between the time of the decision um, uh, to now. Uh, I think practically almost every, everyone that, uh, especially Christian voices, have condemned in strong terms. Not just Christian, but uh, everyone that, you know, believes in balance, and believes in equity, believes in some kind of, you know, um, national cohesion. Uh, those who are worried about our fragile unity, who have said that, look, given the plurality of our society, uh, APC ought not to have done that. But the APC now is pushing back very strongly, uh, saying that uh, these decisions have come to stay. I think with one of the papers even asking, you know, directing uh, those who agree with the decision to try other parties, uh, that uh, the APC is not the only party there. If you, I think one, one of the people, I think it's Punch, that came out so strongly to say, look, yeah, uh, 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 one of the leaders of the party saying that, look, if you don't want what the APC APC is done, you have the op option of other parties. So this is the party saying that, look, we've, uh, we've done the deal, we've taken our decision and, and there's nothing one can do about it. With Abla Demu, the party chairman, even going as far as saying it's an act of God. It looks to me like rubbing uh, salt and injury, like our people will say. So there's not even an attempt at, you know, um, the, you know, assuaging the fears of people. Uh, or even trying as much as possible to say, okay, fine, uh, maybe they're going to, there's going to be some kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, rethink. But what the party is saying is that, look, these decisions come to stay, almost in the same way as Atiku Men were saying that Okoa has come to stay. So this is APC now saying that, look, the decision for Shetima is here to stay. You know, Babachi hinted at maybe asking the president to use his power uh, to revoke that alliance. But the party is coming out strong to say that, look, we're standing there. I don't know the kind of, uh, Kenny, the kind of reality is reflecting because uh, the truth of the matter is that we're, um, we're, we're a society that majorly built on, you know, these two uh, strong uh, religion. And it is so, so difficult, like uh, even Babachi was raising yesterday and ma many other commentators, it's so, so difficult to make any Christian uh, actually understand what this is all about, to even imagine that um, the villa is going to be strictly a mono-religious as a, a kind of entity eventually if 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 uh, APC ever uh, uh, wins in the, in the in the future it's something that a lot of Christians can't come to grasp with, especially Christians in the uh, in the middle belt so what they call the middle belt of the north that's the Christian uh, not it's a real real you know uh, repugnant idea for many of them and that's why i think even on this network and everywhere everyone has come out so strongly uh to talk about it it's difficult explaining uh why or how this is going to pan out and that's why you see leaders of the apc trying to give it all sort of explanation uh with even some coming out to say that uh, like akari dolu saying that look uh the box stops on the table of the of, of the of, of the of the president so uh christian need not to worry tinubu uh they've dragged in so many things they said tinubu is moderate he's got a christian wife and um, so uh, christians have not to worry but it, it, no reassurances seem to be moving the needle one bit with pfn yesterday against coming out strongly to say that this is an affront on the christians well you'd expect that uh, pfn will toe that line uh, but the chairman of apc said clearly that Christians have not interfered. We must add Especially that. as it's an act of God, according to him. So that's what the chairman said. All right. Uh, still looking at this day before we move into all the papers. Maybe for half time we get into the foreign papers. Two things here. Then Duje replies, Lawal says, no compulsion in religion. And then just below that headline, Tiku Okoa, PDP Governor Storm of Shobo today for our delegate. Uh, Atiku breezed into the nation uh, yesterday. Do you think uh, they will make inroads? Oh, we will, we will, we're going to, I think it's going to be an interesting race. We're going to see because this is the first time, I think, after the major primaries and then the emergence of the two sides, uh, uh, this is the first time they're going to to, to head to head. So it's going to be a slug fest of, of, of a kind. And um, if you're a lover of wrestling, this is what they call uh, SmackDown or WrestleMania because this is it. Uh, we're going to see how these two 
are going to go at it, you know, to, head to head. Uh, already both sides seem to be energized. They uh, rally their bees. And um, INEC, it's in the mix too. Yesterday, uh, with other, uh, with, uh, you know, the, the KUKA led uh, the peace, uh, a peace accord uh, group uh, coming together to say, let's sign on paper. Like, and like you hear on, the, on that report, uh, the reporter was saying that, uh, well, that's what they've done in, uh, you know, in the, uh, at, uh, you know, in private to sign some kind of a peace agreement. But uh, how that plays out is what we are waiting to see. But both sides are ready. Uh, you can see a strong show, even the optics of it. Uh, you see APC governance rally around uh, the, the, the presidential flag bearer coming out. They are not really bogged down by the debates, the huge, huge debate around the issue of the APC, which is the issue of the Muslim Muslim ticket. Uh, they seem to be focused strongly on uh, uh, Oshun right now. And uh, I, I think in the next 48 hours, uh, that would be uh, the 24 hours. That would be the uh, most, in the, uh, the biggest story in town. People, will, of course, it's just a state election, but it's also a battleground sort of. And um, I don't know whether at this point there are undecided voters uh, or swing voters in. Ocean. Always be. It seems to me that <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it, it's there always be undecided. Well, it, if you look at the the way Kuka described it, I mean, talking about the most Muslim thing, I think he put it succinctly. Kuka simply said, "I lose no sleep over this." Uh, it's like a coach. He picks his team based on who he thinks can win. And the decision is now for the electorate. What do you want? Do you want this or do you want that? Democracy is choice. Uh, well, Kenneth, I don't think it's as easy as that. I think why everybody seems... Indeed, not that. Kenneth. Uh, indeed, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Kenneth is on my mind this morning. So, but I think why uh, this is troubling for most people, uh, uh, Ken, uh, Indy, is because I, this is the ruling party one. Uh, it's got a lot of structure uh, there. And then, you know, this is coming, although uh, Tinubu said that this is 1993 happening all over again. Sadly, the conditions around, uh, you know, this choice, the, the, the background to it, is one that does not actually, you know, augur well for, especially the, 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 the Christian. I remember that there's been a lot of, you know, what, what a lot of Christians see as persecution and all of that, and a lot of crisis around the issue of banditry, kidnapping, and all of that. So, coming at this time, and they, with some of the kind of rhetoric coming from the party leaders, that is what I think has really, really riled, uh, uh, you know, uh, people against it. Uh, but I think what the, the APC needs to do is really get, you know, people that can market this effectively without rubbing salt and injury. Telling people that this is an act of God, telling people that it has come to stay, and uh, in the, like you say, uh, someone saying that, well, just go for another choice. It's not entirely easy. How do you address the people in the APC themselves? There are Christ Christians in the APC that right now, as we speak, are at a loss how to one sell this to their people. Uh, some of them that I have spoken to say that, look, <laughs> even campaigning around those issues, it's, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult. So this, I think that's what makes it a very, a very uh, a, a huge uh, issue. If you look at the timing, if you look at the coloration of these campaigns, if you look at the issues, if you even look at the, uh, the, what you know, the campaigners or the contestants are going back to their people to talk about, you will know that this is a very, very big issue. I don't see it going away anytime. And it's not as simplistic as uh, you, you know some people are putting it that okay just go for another choice that is the logical thing to do but when you know that this is the ruling party it has the potential to win it could win and the reality of it is that we're going to have a muslim it could also lose it could also lose but it could <laughs> win it could win it could go uh, either way mm -hmm. so but uh, what the APC is doing is it's not really, and the way the APC has been talking about it, you know that look, they are not actually even trying to say let's assault your fears, uh, let's let, let's allay your fears, let's let's uh, don't don't worry about it. They are saying that look, if you don't want this choice, go for another one. It's uh, it's another. I, I've never seen uh, a party talk that way uh, to uh, what we we'll call aggrieved uh, people. So. Like I say, it has to either find ways, better ways to think outside the box to market this. But it's really very, very difficult, actually. I can even understand with the APC to actually sell this to people that don't want it. So it's not as easy as, okay, try another party. Like the punch. In the punch, they, 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 uh, someone there said that, said that go for a tick or go for a B if you don't want what we're doing. Um, they, it's not easy. Even AP, some APC leaders uh, uh, are finding it difficult right now to rally their base, explain to them what has happened. Because there's a total rejection of, uh, of, of this ticket, especially among those that, that, that feel that they should change uh, by it. Not even the Christian. I think I, I listened to some of my Muslim friends who are saying that, look, this is just not right. Uh, there's injustice in this ticket. Um, it does not, you know, tie with. And when Adamu say 
is the reality of the time. I wonder what reality is talking about. Kenneth, like you asked, what reality was he really talking about? The reality on ground is that we're living in a plural society and one that must reflect that plurality. That's the reality. Anything short of that is actually unrealistic. Emmanuel, thank you so much. We would have segued into more, but that's our time today.